Love is a powerful word. It comes into our lives like a gust of wind, sweeping us off our feet and filling us with deep emotions. Love can be the force that drives us to care for another, be it a person, a companion animal, or even an idea. But love, in its many forms, can also be fleeting, misunderstood, and sometimes even disappointing. Sydney, a beautiful Goffin cockatoo, was once a bird filled with promise, but she was plagued by a severe self-mutilation issue. Her owner, despite Sydney's evident suffering, refused to give her up, insisting that love alone could heal the bird's deep wounds. It's my responsibility, the owner would say, firmly believing that love would be enough to save Sydney. For months we pleaded, explaining that Sydney needed specialized care, but the owner's resolve remained unshaken. Finally, after much persistence, Sydney was relinquished into our care. But by then the damage was profound. We devoted ourselves to Sydney's recovery, providing 24 hour care, administering Haldol to calm her, and taking her to an avian surgeon for several surgeries. We brought her to the very brink of salvation. Slowly the self-mutilation subsided. A few feathers began to return, and there was a glimmer of hope. But it was fleeting. Three months later, after spending over $3,000 on her care, Sydney succumbed to an infection. Despite our best efforts, the help had come too late. What did love do for Sydney? It allowed her to chew away one vertebrae and one bone on her wing. She was covered in wounds, scars of a battle she fought alone for far too long. The love her owner clung to was not enough. It was misguided, and it came at a terrible cost. So don't speak to me about love as if it's a cure-all. Speak to me instead of intelligent loving-kindness, of knowing when to let go when to seek help, and when to put the well-being of another above one's own need to love. Only then can we truly save those we care for. Consider for a moment the experience of visiting a divorce court. There, you witness firsthand that love, as intense and meaningful as it may seem, is not always enough to sustain relationships. It's not a magical solution to all problems. A quick look into the dictionary reveals that the word love carries so many different meanings that it can become almost meaningless. After all, how can the same word describe our feelings for a car, a child, and a day at the beach? The reality is that love, as we commonly understand it, is often more about feelings than actions. Feelings that can change, fade, or be misunderstood. And when those feelings diminish or change, what happens to the care we provide? This is where the concept of loving kindness becomes essential, especially when it comes to caring for living beings who depend on us. Loving kindness is not about how you feel, it's about how you act. It's a conscious decision to approach everything in your care with compassion and understanding, regardless of how you might feel in the moment. This distinction is critical when caring for special needs parrots, or any creature that relies on you. Even if you don't have strong feelings of love for a parrot in your care, you can still choose to treat it with loving kindness. You can choose to ensure its well-being, to meet its needs, and to act with compassion because that's how you approach the responsibility of caring for another living being. Caring for special needs parrots is no small task. It requires dedication, persistence, and a deep understanding of parrot psychology and physiology. There are no shortcuts. 
No magic fairy dust that can turn psychotic behavior into sanity. Instead, it demands that you consistently show up with loving kindness. When a parrot requires special medication to feel better, even if that medication is psychotherapeutic, loving kindness guides you to do what is best for the bird, even if it's difficult or inconvenient for you. The goal is to remove suffering, to provide comfort, and to create an environment where the bird can thrive. Loving kindness means you're committed to doing what's necessary, even when it's hard, even when it doesn't feel like love. You understand when to be firm and when to be gentle, knowing that your actions are what truly matter. So when someone asks, can't you just fix that with love? It's important to recognize that love alone isn't always the answer. Love can be a powerful motivator, but it's not a catch-all solution. The road to hell, as the saying goes, is paved with good intentions, and love, without the grounding force of loving kindness, can sometimes lead us astray. In the end, I hope you choose loving kindness over the simplistic notion that love can solve everything. Loving kindness requires us to make hard choices to listen to experts, and to act with intention and care. It's not about waiting for the right feelings to come along. It's about committing to the well-being of those in our care, no matter what. Sometimes the most compassionate thing we can do is to act with loving kindness, even when love seems to fall short. So, as you continue on your journey, whether in caring for special needs parrots or in other aspects of life, remember that loving kindness is a path worth taking. It's a path that leads to true care, true compassion, and ultimately to a deeper and more meaningful connection with those we seek to care for.